So I think we'll go Command Pod, even though I do like the cockpit. And then we'll throw ourselves a nice little parachute on it. Ugh. All right, things that I want. Well, I'm gonna want the uh, the stable. This is the new guy I gotta use at the bottom. Let's see. This little guy. Oh, it's really small. Hmm. And then for science. Gonna want the uh, Science Junior. And we'll get two of these guys right on the top. And maybe, uh, you know, a little barometric pressure. We'll get that over here. And the temperature. Which I think I have all these values for space. However, I don't have them for orbiting. Um, we'll also need a way to communicate. So we'll get ourselves a nice little uh, guy right there. All right, we're not gonna be landing on anything. We're just gonna be orbiting, and then hopefully uh, coming back in for re-entry. Maybe we should throw uh, a heat shield on the bottom. How much do they weigh? They don't weigh too much. This guy fit? Nope. This guy will. Um, but we should put it. Well, no, we can jettison it later. So, we'll go coupling. How big is this guy? Tiny. We'll put a coupler. And now we want to do the uh, liquid engine. Which one are you? You're pretty good. And then we want to use the uh, the little tiny engines. This one has a thrust of like 16 kilonewtrons. So, not a lot. That is our tiny engine. And now from here... We want to do another coupling. And what else? Because we can build this pretty big. So we also haven't named it, so let's just get this, uh, the iron van. Um, well, we'll just call it the 10. Um, I think we had a 6 and a 7 else in there. Uh, we're just going to do it like, uh, oh, here, look, we'll do it, we'll do it X. Uh, or Orbiter. There you go. My cat really wants attention right now. I've been feeding her a little bit less because she's gained a whole bunch of weight. So... Battery packs. I don't think we'll need those. Oh, they're rechargeable. Nice. That's one of the things I really like in this game is the solar panels. Just something about it. I don't know why. Alright, so we got the coupling. I guess we want to do a main stage. One, two, maybe a third one. And this will be, uh, we'll probably go swivel with this. And now, what else? We could do some, uh, some really big ones on the outside. Some of these guys, the thumpers. However, that is really similar to like the stuff we've had previous, so... But we've got, we've got three fuels right here. Haven't used this guy before. I think we'll try doing three of them. Make a mirror dynamic. And we will add some cheap fins. Can we change these guys' color? Nope. What about this? Yeah, we can. Maybe there's like an orange and black. Even though it's just coming out orange. What else? We could put these guys on. On the top? 
That'll keep it real stable. I don't know if we'll need that yet. Um, I think we do want to try to uh, save these guys. So we'll add parachutes to them. And we're organizing it right now so that way when the uh, parachutes deploy, everything else happens too. So, which is nice. What else do we need? Anything else signed, C? So I'm not sure if this will get us enough thrust. But we're gonna try and go for it. What we don't want to do is get stuck in space. That's what I'm afraid of. Anything else here? Oh, well, we need that little uh, coupler for the bottom. Also, we should get these three resting on the ground. So that way it's a little bit more uh, stable. Well, I kind of want them up, just because, I don't know, it's going to mess with the center of gravity, really. It'll be fine. Yeah, there we go. That'll work perfectly. So we go this stage. We want these to happen at the same time. I don't think we mind this happening when we want it to. But we should have enough um, to get home. Alright, so let's try this one out. We're going to name this uh, Orbiter 1. And I guess we'll just call it the Van Orbiter. Let's save it. Okay. So it is T minus zero. Gonna throttle all the way up. Check our contracts. Now, let's see, do I have to test this officially? Jettison engine, that's cool. I didn't know I could do that. I want to try to get to this guy. Um, nope, doesn't look like I can. Alright, so we're going for it. And we should have gotten the contract there. SAS should be doing its job. Yeah, we got the contract. Alright, and we are looking at an orbital turn probably around uh, I'm not sure I haven't done an orbital turn in a long time but here we are we're going quick that's our target for later on 700 meters per second right now all right decoupled they all exploded like seems to happen a lot so, we will commence orbital turn now. It's about 20,000 meters. Right about here we will set. Alright, let's check on our actual orbit. We're getting bigger. We got half fuel. We're really looking to uh, pick up the speed we need. Okay, yeah, even going down a little bit more, I think that'll be good enough. We'll even turn on our lights. There, see? Our little curvil in there, he's cooking. Picking up a good amount of speed here. We got a little bit. Le we got less than half fuel. We're almost there. We 
We're working it. Okay, that's about as far as we can get with this little craft. We're gonna jettison that. Let's see what we can do here. Now this should burn pretty efficiently. Might be able to do it. We're looking for that reach around. Gonna give ourselves half throttle here. And we did it. We are now in relatively stable orbit. Um, we have a paropsis. We have an a paropsis, which is so the big part of the circle, the little part of the circle. When we get over here, uh, we are going to uh, change some things around. But um, that's it. We did it. This is our first orbiter. Um, we'll have to wait till that a contract just uh, kicks in. We'll probably have to orbit around it once. So what we'll do is we'll uh, we'll speed up some time here. Let's check it out. See how we're looking. See if we can take some pressure readings. No science from it though. I guess we'll keep it. What about you? Toggle display. Um, what about you? Crew report? Yes, there we go. Alright, we'll turn that light off. We'll, uh, we'll conserve our batteries. How are we doing with battery? Electrical charge is perfect, so... Alright. Let's check out our map. Let's speed it up just a little bit. And then we will do an orbital burn when we get close to that uh, paropsis. The A paropsis. Yeah, so we should start to slow down when we hit here. As you can see, it's starting to slow down just a little bit. 160. Alright, we're almost there. Putting Jebediah on orbit. First Kerbal in orbit, for this planet at least. Alright, let's just do it here. That'll be fine. So we're facing upwards. Let's disable that. Uh, we need to fire into it. So once again, 90 degrees. And we'll start shooting now. We'll go half throttle. And we just want to get these two about the same. So... Just swinging around, swinging around, swinging around, swinging around. And right there we'll do it. We are now in stable orbit. Congratulations, little Kerbal. You did it. Let's check out our materials on the Science Junior. Okay, so the microgravity has greatly affected the growth of crystalline structures. Loose objects are also flying around the bay in a very messy but fascinating way. Nice. So I think, oh, there we go, orbited Kerbal. We got the contract. Yeah, I was hoping we could get a little bit more out of that. All right, let's check the goo. Which I think we've done the goo a whole bunch of times. Yeah, we're getting point one out of this, so. We'll close these doors. Okay, well, we did it. We're in orbit. Not bad. In the Van Orbiter 1. And I might just leave that, uh, him up there for a while. Let's go over and check out the sunny side. And we'll also have to do, you know, the first orbit around the planet, so... He should just start to get sun... Right about there. Let's see. Not yet. 
See if we can get this stuff out of our way. There we go. Kacha. Fan Orbiter 1. In the sun. Spin this around a little bit. I wonder if we get a different temperature reading. Nope. Alright, so that's that, pretty much. So we got our science phase. Um, we're gonna we're gonna do a full circle around this planet, around Kerbal. I don't know if we have enough fuel to uh, to go anywhere else. We're just probably gonna go back in. But we actually have a lot of fuel left, so this is not a bad design. Pretty efficient. We got up here with minimal parts. And we got up here and we got maximum prestige, so we can pretty much land wherever we want. Oh wow, we're actually going down a lot on electrical charge. Alright, we'll have to keep that in mind. So we can't stay up here indefinitely. But I do want to get a full orbit in. I think we'll just watch that. From whence we came. I was looking for the little Kerbal site, but I guess we've already passed it. So we will start, we'll land on the sunny side, and I guess we'll practice our, uh, you know, landing and things like that. So here we are, we're at regular time. We're going to get the ship orientated in the other direction, just like that. Put on SAS. All right, we're going to give ourselves a nice half throttle here. And then we should start swinging, or uh, what you call it? Shrinking the, uh, the orbit. And that'll make it so we can actually land. And here we go. Now we're landing. We kind of want to land a little bit more aggressively so we don't have to go through the atmosphere for like 10 hours. And we got enough fuel to do that. So we're slowing ourselves down here. And we'll probably just burn out the rest of our fuel, honestly. We got a good heat shield, though. But at least this lets us know how much fuel we actually have. And it's a decent amount, so... I would prefer to land on the water. I don't know if we can, uh... I don't know if we can fix that now. We can try. Let's see. I think the water is that way. No, it doesn't really fix it. But that's okay. All right, at least we're ready to uh, hit this planet. Here we go. We're still a little bit... Oh, no, we're just about to hit it. So we will uh, jettison that guy. We will point our heat shield doo -doo -doo -doo, right where it's got to go. And we should enter the... Yep, just like that. We're going to watch our uh, our fuel go in. Alright, 
heat shield take all that damage. Keep our angle proper. Okay. We're through the atmosphere. And we'll probably pop our shoot. Yeah, we can pop it right now, actually. We will uh, jettison the heat shield. Which will eventually come off of us. There it goes. Our engine is still uh, landing, quote unquote. We can turn off SAS now. How much did we have for electrical charge? We were really down on electrical, so we'll have to keep that in mind. All right, that was our uh, our engine that just hit. Parachutes opening, and hopefully we slow down to enough. We won't damage ourselves, and yeah, that's pretty good. So we'll see if we can log some uh, temperature. Please stop spinning. There we go. Log pressure. Nothing. Uh, temperature? Hey, we actually got signs from that. So, um, and then we'll probably log the pressure when we hit the ground. We'll just warp our way. And we'll even have our little Kerbal guy uh, hop out. Oh no! Uh, we hit the ground a little bit too hard. Log pressure. Nice. So we lost about 25 signs with that. That's okay though. Go Eva. There we go. Okay, that's about as high as you can jump. Roof helmet. Eva report. <laughs> I'm not exactly sure how to plant a flag with him. Hide portrait. Okay. There's your run. And he's just dancing to the music, so... Okay, he's okay. All right. We lost 25 signs, but that's okay. So, um, I guess we can re remove his helmet. There we go. Review report. Remove neck ring. Equip neck ring. Okay. Put the helmet back on. Gotcha. I'm not sure how to activate Eva. But, like all things in video games, you just try every button until it happens. Oh, I released the camera. That's cool. Oh, okay. And I'm still not sure how to do the uh, flag plant. I would really like to. Port action group, huh? Oh, sea level. I got you. Well, either way, 
it's a milestone regardless of whether we figure it out or not. So, yep. Feel the same way.